Hello guys, welcome back. This is a follow-on video and this has no particular order. This one is from the Jim Stone website, which you can find at 82.221.129.208. It appears he's been having a lot of issues with his website, dated December the 9th. The attacks have resumed. Combat mode is now permanent. And guys, he details what the combat mode is. Combat mode gives me the ability to actually secure the message window. So anything you send will definitely make it. If you are a whistleblower, now would be a great time to get heard. I will keep it anonymous if you wish. So currently guys, this guy's website is being attacked, taken down, and he's having to operate it from a fail-safe position where he is logging in as a regular, what appears to be a regular viewer. So he's not been able to update that much, but he's created this section here, which is a, a scrolling window. And from what I understand, Jim Stone is Jewish and was very close inside of the belly of the beast. And upon turning on the people that he knew, he then became hunted and has been on the run ever since. And is obviously a wizard with computer technology and being able to constantly fight the continuous attacks that occur on him wherever he is around the world. So that's a little background on who the guy is. So in order to uh, update you with what's occurring via his information, I'll just read from the top down, which means we're going to be going back in time the further down we go. We start off with this Dear Scam in Media. Russia helped Trump steal the election so much that during the, re during the recount, they had to cancel Michigan because it became obvious Hillary rigged it by 600% in her favor in many districts. And now Wisconsin is finding tons of bogus Hillary votes and she's going down. Something sent in by an anonymous person. I hope that if you have the resources available, you have people looking into the blockchain. The massive DDoS was the 10th of the 21st. We have found things, and others have reported finding full files and keys. We are working on Discord in the open. Members of my team have gotten gag orders, and I'm sure my time is coming soon. Please don't let this be for nothing. My comment. Update. Several people messaged me and said it was Buzz Aldrin. I must not have given it enough thought to remember who. Original reply. Corrected. Yep, I saw that, and I did not comment. Since you asked, I will. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin was at the South Pole during this recent huge elite meeting that is getting talked about in various circles. When he came back, he did indeed put out a tweet that was deleted. It said, quote, we are all in danger. It is evil itself, end quote. One could only guess about what went on to cause him to tweet that. Quick question. Can you revisit the climate change issue that you espoused on a while back? Something to do with water vapour in the atmosphere, I think. It was very interesting and can't seem to find it on your site. Thanks. Jim's response. And this is obviously relevant, guys, so tune into this. Carbon dioxide causing global warming is an easily provable hoax because water vapour is approximately 1,000 times the greenhouse gas that CO2 is. Since water vapour accounts for entire percentages of what is in the atmosphere. The fractional percentage point of CO2 is meaningless. That alone proves the global warming meme to be pure fabrication. Nibiru. There is no credible evidence whatsoever that Nibiru is approaching or that it has anything to do with pole reversals. People are still getting fooled into thinking it can only be seen from the South Pole. Fact. If you are far enough south to see the Southern Cross. Nibiru will be visible too if it approaches from the south. Half the Earth will see it coming. Just like in the North, the North Star is visible to everyone, even though it really is directly above the North Pole. However, many degrees up in the sky it is from your vantage point is dependent entirely upon how far south you are. At the equator, it will be at the horizon, if it can be seen at all. But even 100 miles south of the equator, it should be plenty visible. Just like the North Star will be visible 100 miles north of the equator, very low on the horizon. 
Moving on to Jill Steen. Unfortunately, Jill Steen's, quote, war chest, end quote, will not be robbed. There is a rumour circulating in the web that I wish was true. So much that I put half the morning into verifying it. As it turns out, it is largely a hoax. The rumour goes like this, quote, In order to stop Jill Steen from further mayhem, her money was taken, so she has to stop. That did not happen. Here is what really is going on. Lawmakers are indeed very upset with Jill Steen on both Democrat and Republican sides. They see her as a troublemaker that steps way out of her range and league, and they are enacting legislation to stop this from happening again. Here is the gist of what is going on. There are laws being written right now that will make it a requirement for anyone requesting a recount to pay it entirely, rather than just a percentage. More importantly, no one can request a recount unless they received a huge portion of the vote and came to within 5% of the winner. So lawmakers are right now forming legislation to prevent a thoughtless loser who has absolutely no class from creating mayhem with the system. They have basically labelled Jill Steen that type of person and making it far more difficult for a classless troublemaker to abuse the system. Where did the quote, rob the war chest, end quote, meme come from? All I can find that someone could stretch to that conclusion is that Michigan set the cost of a recount at 4.5 million before it was all shut down, which would have drained her to zero. Unfortunately, she still has the cash, and at present, she will get to keep it. And again, here's a small update as to the attacks on his website. The attacks started up again today. I have a deal. If I never have to log in, I won't ever compromise the site's security. So how about I just operate in combat mode forever? The people hacking the site are not, quote, authorized, end quote, by American intelligence. I figured that much out. And therefore, they only get as far as I let them. I have to weigh convenience against how much I get pestered. I am considering just switching to 100% inconvenience. Why not? If they shut down the convenient way anyway, why let them in by even trying? I can lock them out completely with combat mode. And that is the last thing they'd ever want. Because I might get a whistleblower behind Pizzagate in the message box that combat mode also allows me into without ever logging into. If you can't log in, you can't delete what is there. Now he goes on to Pizzagate. Quote, fake news. Is Pizzagate real? I am not going to express my opinion on the topic. All I am going to do is post facts that can never under any circumstance be called fake. Many of you have seen this before. Time for a refresher on the facts that are proven facts. Hillary can call this fake all she wants and it will just make her look stupid. The police sketch matches of the Podesta brothers to the disappearance of Madeleine McCain perfectly. However, how can a police sketch match so perfect? Madeleine McCain disappeared in Portugal on the same day the Podesta brothers were there in 2003, within a half mile of where Madeleine was. The link is obvious. And how did people find this photo and relate it to the Podesta brothers when the police never drew the conclusion? Answer. People were led to this by the Pizzagate scandal, which came straight out of John Podesta's own email box. Hillary can say all she wants about fake media, but she can't call me fake if all I do is post a couple of pictures and state the facts as they are. Interesting it is that even with the incredible bust provided by the quote fake media end quote, the Podesta brothers are still walking free. Privilege has its perks, I guess. Never forget, the New York Police Department busted the hell out of the Podesta with this stuff and many other things that damn the hell out of Hillary including Lesbia love with Huma and children. And thus far, it has gone nowhere, even though it was the NYPD that said it. Privilege has its perks, I guess. And mysteries will remain mysteries when only the, quote, real, end quote, media is reported. Quote, real news, end quote. Hillary has abundantly proven that, quote, real, end quote, is whatever the hell she wants. And that's where I'm going to leave that one, guys.